You've underestimated everything I've been through. I think you can't imagine all the things that I can do. In this episode, we're going to talk about one of the oldest snacks in history, popcorn. Popcorn is great to snack on when watching a movie, and has been one of the most popular snacks at movie theaters since, well, they started having theaters. I remember way back, in what feels like a lifetime far, far away, watching Return of the Jedi in a drive through I must have been like six or seven at the time. But there was popcorn. Now, don't get me wrong, I might be old, but I ain't popcorn level of old. Some details I read put it all the way back nearly 5,600 years ago. Whether or not they had butter to go with it is another thing entirely. As for the popcorn we're more used to, as with all things, it began to rise in fame with the state fair, and then eventually it spread out, from movie theaters to the house, and it had plenty of evolutions. The ways to make popcorn at home consist of Jiffy Pop, making popcorn on the stovetop type design, hot air machines, and of course, microwavable popcorn. On cooking the easy way, we're going to go with the easier of those options, the microwave popcorn. Now, I know what you're thinking. Microwave popcorn is either very easy or too easy to burn. Both sides are right. The main issue with making popcorn is burning it. If you leave it in the microwave for just a few seconds too long, it can ruin the entire bag. What's worse is that this burnt popcorn can set off your smoke detectors, meaning all your neighbors will know you messed up. On the other hand, if you pull it from the microwave too early, you'll have a lot of unpopped kernels. Just don't eat them and you're okay. There are also different flavors for popcorn. Some are pre-flavored in the bag. Others are sprinkled on the popcorn after it's made. Here in this video, I will show you how to make Orwell Redenbacher Ultimate Butter Popcorn with salt. But it should work with whatever you go with. If it's a flavored popcorn, or if you're using a flavored powder, either way, good luck. Now, let's begin. First is obviously some microwave popcorn. There are many types and flavors, but my wife likes the Ultimate Butter, so that's what I make. Easy, isn't it? In addition to the popcorn, you'll also need a large bowl to hold it. It's recommended. Some may prefer to eat it right out of the bag. For those people, get extra napkins. And of course, you'll need a microwave. Now, these come in different power configurations, from 800 watts to 1200 plus. Combine that with how the different popcorn manufacturers make their product, and there really isn't a specific amount of time that you can just use. But with any luck, you can end up with a bowl of popcorn just like this. Now let's get started. Now step one, remove it from the plastic wrap. A very important step. Now step two, you're going to put it in the microwave. And you want to make sure it's facing the correct direction. There will be a side that will say this side up or the side down, whatever. Whatever it is, if you ignore it, then you might end up with a bit of a mess. I don't know. Of all the things to rebel against, that wasn't one of the things I went with. Now, step three. Set the time and hit the start button. How much time? Doesn't really matter, but I'd say over three minutes. Remember, we're using our ears in this one, but we want it to run long enough that we can get this in one shot. Now I know, I can already hear it. What about the popcorn button? Not gonna lie. But I never used those labeled buttons on the microwave. When I was growing up, they were still very new, as in the, you're lucky if you had access to one level of new. Certain features such as having it think for you, well, to be honest, I just never bothered to deal with them. So, as for the actual popcorn button, well, instructions on the box say not to use it. Although about a month ago, a channel named Technology Connections put out a video where this button was discussed in depth. But I'm old. I'm not looking to change my ways. Whether or not the popcorn button is good or not, oh, that's on you to test. Here, I'll show you the old school way, using the ears. Now, step four. Here's the tricky part. The first minute or so will be uneventful. 
the bag will start to grow, and then you'll start to hear a lot of popping. Now, as this is popping, there'll be a point where it starts to wind down to a few pops every couple seconds. And it's going to kind of go from pop, 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 to pop, 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 that type of thing. I'll, I'll show you in the sound wave. But once you get to about a two-second gap, that's when you want to stop it. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see in the audio file, the little spikes show where the corn was actually popping. And the little, you know, dips down is where it was, you know, more quiet. Fairly straightforward. When you hear it like this, then it's pretty much time to uh, take it out of the microwave. Now, on to step five. If you're adding salt or another popcorn flavor, that's on you. I'm not responsible for anything you eat, but once the bag's done, you do want to be careful. It's going to be extremely hot and letting off steam. Carefully open the bag away from your face or anything you don't want to get a steam blast on, and then pour a little into the bowl. Pour a little bit of the salt, or your flavoring, and then add some more popcorn, then some more salt, and finally the rest of the popcorn. You want to shake the bag while using your other hand and kind of lift out the popcorn towards the end. While you can just pour it out, I kind of do it this way just to, you know, prevent too many unpopped kernels. There'll always be a few that don't pop, and they can hurt your teeth or any dental work you may have, so I try to avoid them. No matter what, watch out what you put in your mouth. That's a life rule. Step six, shake the bowl a little. A few gentle shakes just to kind of mix up the salt and popcorn. Even if you didn't, you know, season it, you might want to still mix it up to get the butter flavor mixed around a little. And then, what do you know? You have a bowl of popcorn. That looks like... Victory. From here, you can serve the popcorn and enjoy spending the rest of the night getting those little popcorn shells out from between your teeth. Till next time, remember to cook the easy way. If you find this video entertaining, then like, share, and subscribe.